Hi everyone, good afternoon and thanks for attending Crelate's uh, release webinar here today. So we're certainly excited to discuss uh, a lot of what we've been working on here uh, with actually one item in particular that's uh, near and dear to my heart specifically as the leader of the support team. We certainly thank you all for again taking some time here out of your busy schedules to check in with us uh, to learn and engage about the future of Crelate. We certainly highly encourage questions as we navigate through the course of the webinar. Uh, for those of you looking for a recording as well, we will have this session recorded. Uh, Kaylee, who's on as well, is actually going to throw a link in the chat for you all now, just so you can access that recording at any time after the call. Uh, we should have that up and live shortly after the end of this webinar. Uh, we have a lot of you joining us here today, and we'll definitely do our best to get to as many questions as we possibly can. Please use the Q&A option on Ring Central's toolbar to ask us questions as we go. Typically on our webinars, we can receive uh, hundreds of questions, and while we may not be able to get to all of them live on the webinar, you should receive a follow-up e email post-webinar, as we'll be creating uh, tickets with your questions that we're not able to address live. Uh, please note, uh, we, we strongly encourage using the Q&A component on the Ring Central toolbar there, as that actually allows us to export and review any missed questions or just any feedback in general, uh, while the chat function in Ring Central meetings here does not. So if you wouldn't mind just throwing any, any and all questions in the Q&A piece, that will um, make things easiest for, for us to follow up with you and just give us an opportunity after the call um, to, to read through some of the, the comments and feedback that you all have. So we're certainly excited to begin here. Uh, I'll be using a combination of the uh, demo presentation on this slide as well as my actual live instance of Crelate. So I'll be using a little bit of blended both uh, just so I can actually show you some of the new changes uh, while we get a familiarity for what those are. So for what's new, we have a handful of items in this release. Uh, first and foremost, support. So the connection to our support team will be an entirely new experience. With this release, we've made it faster, easier, and more organized to engage with our support team and with the content in our knowledge base. So a pretty big change there that we're certainly excited to announce. Uh, changed login experience. So as we continue to stay up to date with a lot of the industry best practices uh, on security, we've actually partnered with Okta to provide uh, an option for enterprise customers to add a single sign-on experience and integration to Crelate. So you notice a little bit of a shift in the login experience. Client portal pricing. So this is actually based on discussions with, with a lot of you all um, on the call today and is eff effective of August 1st, we're pleased to announce that we are reducing the price on all new and existing client portal subscriptions. You know, we've really come to view the client portal as a, as a core feature and component of Crelate, and we definitely want to make sure that the, the cost works for really each type of business and each size of business here. API improvements. Uh, so we will uh, and have been making a handful of API improvements and something that's certainly consistently on our roadmap for us to do. Uh, so we're enabling integration partners to pull more information on jobs, um, on contacts, on pick lists and custom fields just to, again, increase the exposure of data that you can pull outside of Crelate on in. We've also made some security enhancements. Of course, we're always looking um, to better protect your data and your business. And in this release, we've actually added some increased security measures and protocols to keep Crelate at the forefront of recruiting technology. Certainly uh, from an API and a security and a performance and an engineering, uh, those are certainly a lot of items that, that happen behind the scenes each and every release that um, you may not feel or see in Crelate, um, but are really designed for efficiency and speed and, and you know a lot of the intuitive uh, nature uh, of the product in general. So something that, that's really always working on our roadmap is, is to make sure that we're you know really giving back to the foundation of the product as a whole. <clears throat> so that being said, I um, want to talk a little bit about our support model and then also, of course, transition to sort of how that's, uh, how that's changing here in Crelate. So our goal is really to provide, you know, consistent support and to continually make it easier to engage with our staff uh, and also, of course, to be able to create content that, that is accessible at all times for your review. So we really want to build a foundation of knowledge to help keep everyone informed and engaged of, of everything we're doing at Crelate. You know, we certainly want to make it easy to broadcast and share content, and of course, uh, easy to allow you to engage with us as a team. Uh, but specifically to the you know support team here, we're, we're definitely cognizant of the fact that, that we're really brand ambassadors and always try to provide uh, positive energy. We really hope you feel that in, in each and every interaction, engagement, phone call uh, that you might have with us. 
uh, we have an, and continue to preach a, a no stone unturned approach to always respond to all queries and to really finish through the process. There's, there's of course, uh, nothing more aggravating than um, you know, sort of being tossed through the loop or, or having a, uh, an unanswered question you know, or a partial answered question that never gets a full resolution. Uh, we're committed to you know, really consistently seeing all requests through to resolution, uh, all while anticipating you know, what, what your next question actually may be. So we really actually train the team based on the question that you're asking to sort of anticipate additional and future questions. So we can not only set you up to be successful for uh, the, the current question, but also to give you some material and content to engage you for, for your next question or what you might be doing in addition to the, the initial question you might have. So you should certainly never have the experience, you know, in really feeling handed off or passed through, you know, to, to different representatives in an endless loop. All of our representatives are trained to know all of Crelate. Um, of course, with you know potential for um, specialties, um, but we're definitely looking to continue to grow in this fashion so that each rep you speak with here will have a fundamental understanding, uh, of course, of the product as a whole, but also how you know, each and every one of you live. You know, how does how does the recruiting and staffing industries that, that you're dealing in impact what you actually want to do and perform in Crelate? So all of these are, are things that we think about each and every day. And we really hope that this provides a comprehensive experience where we can couple our product expertise with a true understanding of, of what it is that you're actually looking to accomplish. And, you know, that's the ultimate goal is, is where we can couple that knowledge together to really hopefully provide um, some fabulous support. So with that being said, uh, we'll have a little drum roll, please, as we announce what's new with support. <clears throat> so the, the new Crelate customer survey experience is, is completely aimed at making the process of connecting with support more fluid, organized, and intuitive. So no more um, you know, needing to leave the app to open an email and send a question, no more trying to find an old answer um, you know, in an inbox, across an email thread. Uh, it's really you know, the, designed to be the help you need right where you want it. So for those of you also, just as an aside, uh, who've actually migrated into Crelate from another ATS or CRM, um, I, I can definitely say now proudly that, that I know the, the legwork involved. Um, you know, we, we've definitely poured hundreds of hours uh, as, a, as a support staff into this remodel and as a development team uh, and, and, you know, really overhaul the entirety of our support system. So it's definitely been a, a big project and a big endeavor and one, one we hope will certainly pay big dividends to you all uh, looking to come back and um, you know, ask us questions and, and engage with some of the content that we can provide. So the widget here, which you'll see towards the um, right portion of my screen that says, hi, Ian, up at the top. Uh, so what does this widget have? Well, it will allow you to access previous conversations. You'll see that up at the top. So as you submit and look to um, you know, potentially review a previous conversation, you'll have that ability. Uh, as well, of course, is being able to start anew. So you can always send us a message to start a new conversation. You can search through our knowledge base. So in the, the search through our articles, you'll have the ability to just query, uh, you know, whether you're looking to import a resume, import a spreadsheet, uh, use the Chrome extension. You can search through for content there uh, at any time. We will also be um, throwing some featured and promoted content in the top. You'll actually find uh, as we ship this live over the weekend here that the uh, impact guide for the, the new release here will be sort of one of, the, one of those promoted content that will be registered at the top of the widget here. Um, in addition, you know, we'll be, we'll be throwing additional limp links and how-tos. We'd certainly love to hear your feedback as well on specific items that you'd really like to see at the forefront of this widget. How can we promote content that really best uh, impacts what you're trying to do on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, you also notice to the right um, of the, the screenshot where you'll see advice and answers from the Crelate team. Uh, so it's, it's an overhaul to our um, actual knowledge base and help center as well. So we have... Um, Tons of new content. There's actually three times the video content uh, that there previously was with a lot more structure and focus around the content to hopefully create a curated and, and organized experience for anyone coming to our help center. Uh, also to uh, make the content much more searchable. So we really wanted to consolidate a lot of the keywords and searchability uh, just to make sure that we're capturing on the specific content that you all might be looking for. So I'd certainly really like to show everyone this live in our test environment. So as, as I mentioned before, this is not yet shipped. Uh, we will be releasing this live, uh, but I wanted to go ahead and now show this in action in our test environment to give you a preview of the experience. All right, so as I drag that in, 
You'll be able to see you know, the homepage and everything will look identical. Uh, the help button will still be there in the lower left hand corner, but the new experience will be if I select the help button, I'll now have the ability for that widget to pop up. So we'll be able to see previous communication, uh, you know, really living directly within the app. I can actually select to view that conversation history and view the previous replies in this question. I'll be able to send a new message as well. So if I want to start a new conversation with the team, I can go down our path. So I have a specific support question. It'll then have me funnel down just so we have a better understanding as a team about what your question pertains to. So let's say I have a question about reports. You will receive some automated content. In this case, uh, we'll throw back the, the reporting overview. The reporting overview, um, as it stands, is actually a link out to a lot of our master reporting guides to set up KPIs, to set up submittal reports, placement reports. So it's really sort of the main overview, uh, hence the name article, that uh, will, will serve to you know, hopefully pro provide a lot of the foundation and uh, different unique reports that a lot of our customer base are looking to run. But from here, of course, this is where you can begin to ask a question. So we'll say, I have a question surrounding a, uh, let's say, specific report and send that out. Now the cool part is whether this widget is expanded or, or if I've, um, maybe I've closed it out, I don't need it. Um, you know, when, when the Crelate support team responds here, when we respond back with uh, an answer, in this case, I'll just throw, throw an answer here to respond, you'll notice that this will actually pop up. So you can always click help uh, again, to get the full widget back and, and view it in the context of the widget. But you'll see in this case, I've responded. I've thrown in a message that we're going to close this chat down. Uh, so you'll see that experience, whether you have the widget maximized or minimized. You can always, of course, come back to it in your recent conversations. Below, this will be a, a query directly through our knowledge base. So let's say I have a question and I want to know about importing a resume. I can search through that or, or any question I might have to view some related content uh, and view the content right within the widget. So I can select from here to actually take a look at the article itself. So you'll have full ability to view all of our content within the help center here. Below that, this is where I mentioned we will throw some promoted and sponsored content. So if you're looking for the release guide, you'll be able to view that here. Registering for webinars, some featured content on search, and then access to our full help desk. So as I mentioned, the help desk will uh, has gone through a, a complete under, um, you know, complete change up and uh, an overhaul. So if I navigate, which I have up our help center, it will still be structured and organized in a very similar fashion where I can view the main sections and collections and then the subsections within that. So what's new in 2020, getting started. Each section will have its own header. Uh, but from here, we've uh, structured the content, hopefully uh, just in a more digestible format. Additionally, just like you can within the widget, I can search. So maybe I want to search for um, a bulk activity. I want to find some content on creating a bulk activity. So selecting in here. I can view that content, you know, video content will be promoted up at the top and then contextual below. At the very bottom, we will have some what's next. This should be at the bottom of 90 plus percent of the knowledge base articles we'll have just to hopefully drive and engage some action. So after you've created a bulk activity, you might want to follow up on that activity. Uh, so we're just hopeful that we can guide you with some related content or some good next step content uh, just to make sure that, you know, if you're on the path of one action, you can either continue that or take a related action going forward. So the help section will, of course, always be here uh, for you to access uh, just at help.crelate.com. So as I mentioned before, we'd certainly love to hear any and all feedback, you know, what additional insight you might have, um, how we can certainly uh, best guide you to promote specific content, um, you know, what that path experience looks like. We, we believe it's certainly a vast improvement uh, over the, the current experience, uh, which, you know, we, we believe, you know, certainly got a little bit monotonous. Um, and this hopefully is a much more streamlined experience and a much faster way to engage with content and our support staff. So we're certainly excited to announce this here again this coming weekend. So I want to return now back here to our presentation just to have a quick discussion on the change login experience. So while minor, uh, we wanted to make sure that user aware, uh, users were aware of the new login experience. So when logging in, instead of entering your email ID and password on the same screen, you'll enter your email ID um, and select next, and then enter your password on the next screen. 
So the reason here is that we are actually uh, integrating for customers that use Okta, we'll actually be offering a limited uh, private beta of the, the single sign-on provider. So if you're interested in participating, throw us a line in the, the Q&A here um, or, or just reach out to our support staff. We'd, we'd certainly be happy to engage in that conversation. Um, but the, the primary um, means for the change is is really just for the, the single sign-on to, you know, again, increase some of the security practices we have and real, really allow an engaged experience for those customers who use a single sign-on provider. Uh, other than that, there will be no changes, no functional changes in regards to logging in or two-factor authentication. Uh, it's really just a change to support some of the new single sign-on experience options. The next change here, uh, which certainly is, is focused with, with a lot of your feedback in mind, um, based on, again, a lot of discussion with everybody here, uh, and effective as of August 1st, we're pleased to announce that we are uh, reducing the price on, the, on, on all new and existing client portal subscriptions. So we really view the client portal as, a, again, a core component and a core cog of Crelate and want to make sure that that cost uh, really does work for all types and sizes of businesses. So we know that you know, every Crelate license already does come with access to our submittal functionality and our new submit as a link feature uh, that actually launched earlier this year. So these both, uh, of course, provide a, you know, a great note cost option uh, for those looking to efficiently submit a candidate to, to your client directly within Crelate. You can grab a, a little bit of an audit trail in history, so that should hopefully provide a, a streamlined experience to build client engagement. Um, but for agencies that really need and want a robust centralized hub for organizing and tracking communication with your clients, uh, the Crelate Client Portal really offers a truly unique way to engage with customers during the search process. For those of you who haven't used the Client Portal, uh, it is essentially a main central hub in which you can invite clients to directly engage with and interact with uh, in one, again, location. So you'll have the ability to view the jobs, we have a branded experience for this particular client. And then any and all jobs that they have, they'll be able to view and leave feedback on candidates in the pipe here. So we can see with Nick, status is off or out, salary, and the clients actually left us feedback. They'll be able to review a pipeline breakdown, activity summary, as well as selecting into any uh, next candidate should they like to leave additional feedback. On a particular candidate that they're reviewing, they'll have the ability to uh, review potentially multiple documentation. So take a look at a cover letter or LinkedIn PDF. Uh, this can be available for uh, you know just easy review, as well as provide that feedback. So rating, disposition, and feedback. This will all automatically alert you in Crelate as they leave these notes and anecdotes here. From a candidate information standpoint, you can expose as much or as little information and details as you'd like with your clients. So if you'd like them to review additional information, uh, you'll have that ability here. The history section can expose um, notes and feedback. So if you've had an interview or conducted a phone screen or the client themselves has left feedback, uh, they'd be able to review that here. So it's a, really a, a guide for the client to be able to review a summary, a quick summary and history of activity that you have logged with that particular candidate. Of course, all of this, you know, really comes down to the level of comfort with your clients. You can choose to expose or not any and all of this information. So whatever information that you're comfortable sharing, you can really have a curated, branded experience on a client-by-client -client basis. You know, have a great relationship with one client, share a ton of data. Don't with another. Maybe you want to redact certain pieces of the resume and share minimal information on the candidate info section. So all of that can really be up to you and can be manipulated on a client-by-client -client basis. Now, the last piece uh, of the feature release here uh, that will ship again this Friday the 31st will be API improvements. So certainly for those of you familiar with the API now, um, you know, we're just looking and always looking to continue to expand upon the functionality of the API. We know that it's a, such a valuable tool that a lot of our customer base takes advantage of to push and pull information. So whether it is with one of our you know, directly integrated partners like an Outplay or an Interseller, or a third-party app that, that you directly have built an integration into, you know, the, really the bottom line, as you see at the bottom there, is we're just enabling all partners to be able to pull more information on Contacts, pick lists, custom fields, you know, to, to any tool that you've integrated with Crelate. 
we have a little bit more information just for those individuals looking to get a little bit more specific on some of the uh, enhancements that we'll throw in the Q&A piece now, just so you'll have a moment to review if you want to just copy and paste that link out so you can take a look at it now or after the call. Um, but a lot of it focuses, again, on the public API to add additional properties on jobs, to expose um, more information about recently updated contacts, uh, to expose some custom field metadata, and also custom pick list fields to the public API. So something, again, that I mentioned at the, the outset of the call, but that we're always looking to improve the performance uh, and enhancements on because we know it's such a valuable tool that a lot of you use, um, you know, hopefully used to automate a lot of activities and to allow you to continue to engage with Increlate without having to consistently leave and use, um, uh, you know, to leave outside of Increlate to perform specific actions. With that being said, I just want to thank all of you in attendance here today. Uh, you know, we really appreciate you taking some time out of your afternoon uh, just to do some crelating with us here. Um, again, please, prior to sign off, just leave any remaining questions, comments for us in that Q&A piece so we can review those. Uh, we certainly love to grab feedback and continue to hear your thoughts um, and advancements on, you know, the, the really the, the crelate that we have today and the crelate we'll have in the future here going forward. Uh, so thanks again for your time and have a great rest of your afternoon.